Daud Kim, or his Korean name Kim Jae Han, was a former member of an EDM trio called Trax. He was also a part of SM Entertainment's music group SM The Belad. The 39-year-old former idol started a successful YouTube channel, and after his highly publicized conversion to Islam, he became known as Daud Kim. He had been embroiled in controversy after controversy, despite his trying so hard to put on a facade of a good Muslim convert. From rape allegations to domestic abuse to cheating on his wife and profiting of Islam, you name it, the list goes on. This time around, Daud Kim's bad deeds have once again been exposed by a TikTok user, Tachakju, through not one, nor two, but four videos on TikTok. He spotted them in a nightclub in Turkey. The first video that went viral on Chuck Ju's account showed Daud Kim in a nightclub, cuddling with a girl intimately and almost kissing her. Uh, many people told me that the pork and alcohol, but I didn't think it's not very difficult if I have faith. Mia, his wife, claimed that he went on vacation to Turkey simply to delay the court process of their divorce and he has yet to pay the alimony. I'm divorced. Divorcing process is about a year now, a year. We didn't uh, do our first court because he ran away many times and didn't come to court and always delayed. And this time it will be our first court this month. And I hope I will divorce soon, okay? Kim's YouTube channel was prospering pretty well, with 2.27 million subscribers in 2020. A few months after Kim converted, a foreign woman claimed that he had attempted to rape her while she was asleep, with a video posted on TikTok as evidence. In the video, a man was hurriedly putting on his underwear on the stairs of an apartment, while the woman could be heard crying while recording. In addition, the TikTok account also posted videos of him sexting another girl, including screenshots of the YouTuber asking her to suck his When the girl threatened to expose his deeds, he commented that he should not be childish and bragged that no one would believe her because he is famous. The woman, who also belongs to the faith of Islam, posted the video claiming that the incident took place in 2019. After confronting him, they reached a legal agreement where he was supposed to apologize to her for his actions publicly. Kim posted an apology on his Instagram, but took it down swiftly, which prompted her to take a step and expose his crime. In response, Kim posted an apology video, essentially admitting that the accusations were true, but stating that it was a mistake he made in a drunken state First of all, the apology I posted before was very wrong. I didn't give any consideration to the victim. I contacted the victim and talked. And I realized how terrible I was. Everything the victim said is true. I will not make any excuses anymore. It's true that I was drunk. According to his testimony in the video, the woman invited him to her apartment, but he was too intoxicated to remember anything of what happened. I didn't think it's not very difficult if I have faith. The woman responded to his claim by posting a series of TikTok, debunking his story and calling out the South Korean authorities for inaction. He also claimed that Daud Kim was not a faithful Muslim and that he was only using the faith as just a way to get more clout on the internet. He was seen drinking in bars and hanging out with women. But of course, he accused this woman of lying 
denied all of these allegations and his fans verbally harassed and insulted the girl and her friends. Then came the raping defender supporting the rapist more by saying that he apologized. He regrets it and we should embrace him. Like seriously? Embracing a rapist and feeling sorry for him? Netizens at that time were divided on their opinion regarding the issue, with many suggesting he deserved to be forgiven and others arguing that he needed to be held accountable. The apology video has been deleted from his YouTube channel, where Kim continues to enjoy a following of 3.65 million. However, this was far from being the sole scandal of his career as a Muslim YouTuber whose content is based mostly on his faith. There was already skepticism around the real reason for his conversion. Many believing that he was taking part in performative PD to use religion as a bait for his personal gains. These suspicions got further amplified after he was spotted clubbing and drinking in 2021. In the teachings of Islam, these actions are strictly prohibited, and many Muslim viewers felt that his commitment to the religion was not genuine. He also got embroiled in domestic abuse allegations recently. His wife, Mia, shared pictures of her bruises from the alleged abuse on social media. Daud Kim also entered Mecca, the most sacred place in the faith of Islam, by forging his entry documents. Additionally, there are accusations that the Korean Muslim Association never recognized him as a Muslim. Here comes the most significant issue. His conversion to Islam brought many Arab and Muslim followers to him. They cheered him and protected him at all cost. So when he was accused of these rape allegations, his Arab and Muslim fans defended him and said that this allegation is to harm Islam. And that came from the mouth of the one and only raping defender and the woman's enemy, so-called Islamic advocate. He publicly announced on his Twitter account that he is supporting and defending Daud Kim. Not even joking, he stated that on his Twitter account, this is not acceptable. Defending and supporting the rapist is not permitted and is considered a crime. Even if the rapist apologized, he should pay the price of what he did. And we should not show him any remorse. Despite multiple controversies, Kim's career has not staggered. He continues to make videos about living his life as a Muslim man, traveling to different countries with each of his videos ranking up hundreds of thousands of views. Though many netizens have expressed their disapproval of him, his core following seems to only be growing. Now that his dirty laundries are out in the open, Muslim netizens are furious at him for disrespecting the religion. This has led to the million dollar question, why are the people still supporting him and his contents? Allahu Akbar! Tikbi! Allahu Akbar! Tikbi! Allahu Akbar! They are now declaring him as a fake Muslim and urged others to stop watching his content. People have even begun to address him by his Korean name rather than his Muslim name. After countless excuses and apologies, will people still believe him? However, this person needs to be held accountable for what he's saying as he is being followed by thousands of people and thousands of people see him as a role model.